What should we make of the press conference with Giuliani and uh, Sidney Powell and Jenna Ellis? And I want the American public to know right now that we will not be intimidated. American patriots are fed up with the corruption from the local level to the highest level of our government. And we are going to take this country back. We are not going to be intimidated. We are not going to back down. We are going to clean this mess up now. President Trump won by a landslide. We are going to prove it. And we are going to reclaim the United States of America for the people who vote for freedom. I tried to watch um, the conference with extreme calm just to listen to what is being alleged and to take it in and to weigh it in my head. Now, this is the sort of opposite reaction from almost everyone else. The media was like running out of the room. It's a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy theory. Now, first of all, most organized crime is a conspiracy. So if you allege a conspiracy theory, you're merely saying that there are people who are coordinating to get something very bad done. That happens all the time. Uh, Rudy Giuliani is sort of an expert on breaking up a conspiracy called a mafia. And when he presented his indictment of these families in New York, they run the trucking industry, they run the unions, they run the garbage industry. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's a conspiracy. And um, what is being alleged here is similar. An international conspiracy um, to fix elections that's been going on in other countries. It's now been imported to our country. Now, all of this is, has massive implications, if true. And so what I want to do briefly is just drill down to the factual basis of these claims. Is it a fact that these machines can be rigged? Legally, it may not be sufficient to show that they can be rigged. You may have to show that they were rigged. But think about it. If we're operating with election machines that are susceptible to programming, to vote swapping, to rigging, is that the way we want to run elections in this country? That would be a bombshell allegation, even if it were true, merely that the machines could be rigged. Can they? True or false? Number two, are there in fact whistleblowers from Dominion and Smartmatic and these other companies who will admit and say that the machines were designed for rigging, that they were purchased by people who wanted to rig them, that those people got kickbacks for making those purchases, that there are ways for politicians to rig their own elections, true or false. I haven't seen the people who deplore conspiracy theories tell us which one it is or why. At the very least, what is alleged here is a sufficient basis for investigation and verification, because if these things are true, it will blow the lid off the Democratic Party. It will blow the lid off the political process. It will represent the greatest foreign and domestic threat to democracy itself. Heads will roll. And I suspect that the media panic, the media does nothing to see here, folks. Well, it's not going to work this time. And I think the media's real fear is not that all of this is false, but that a good deal of it may be true.